Hi everyone and welcome to the official start of my channel. We're just gonna jump right into this video. It is going to be a haul video because when we lived uh, where we had lived previously, we did not have an Ulta. So since moving to where we live now, it's been a ridiculous amount of times that I'm pretty sure I've been to Ulta. So this is everything that I've purchased in maybe five or so trips. And I have a little bit of everything, some foundations and bases, some highlights, some cheek stuff, some eyeshadows. So we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing I bought was the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Now, first things first, this foundation is way full coverage, which I like sometimes. And it is great for that. Now, the thing that bothers me, if you didn't know already, it very much changes colors when you use it. It oxidizes quite a lot. Every color seems to do so. So when I went into the store, I swatched a bunch of shades on my hand, sort of walked around for a while and saw like what color they ended up being. And it was a shade, if not more darker, which I think is a little bit crazy. But I actually got the shade 2.5 first, I wanna say. I think I got 2.5 first and ended up having to exchange it because it was just, it was way too dark. So the shade I have right now is 1.5 and honestly this will not work for me in the winter. Right now I am way more tan than I usually would be at this time of year. I don't usually get crazy tan. This is not going to work for me in the winter time. I sort of have to make it work for me right now and I'm not the palest person that I've ever met and this is the second to palest shade with a pink undertone so if you're gonna buy this I would recommend going into the store swatching it beforehand just so you can get a better idea of what color it's actually gonna be on your skin but if you can find a color that matches you even when it changes colors by all means get it another base that I got was the it cosmetics CC cream now I did get these in two colors I have a full size in the shade fair which is too fair for my skin and I have a little travel size in the shade light which is too dark for my skin. I think fair is a good name it is definitely a very fair color but the shade light I would not call light like this looks way dark especially just like compared to my skin like it looks way dark. If they had a middle ground between fair and light I feel like that would be the perfect color but right now I do have to mix them together. I feel like I'll kind of always have to mix them together no matter what time of the year I'm at just like maybe it'll be a little bit more fair maybe it'll be a little bit more light but this is awesome I actually wore it for I want to say maybe like a week straight we were constantly going out and I was doing my makeup way more than usual and this was amazing it was so hot here and so humid and with the exception of like if I was wearing my glasses where the like the nose piece hits which you can't really avoid any like foundation break down there. With the exception of that, the rest of my face looked phenomenal. I think the one day I wore for like 10 hours and it was still looking pretty great by the end of the day when I was about to take my makeup off. It is very hydrating, very moisturizing. It doesn't feel heavy like a full coverage foundation, but there's still so much coverage out of this. My only complaint is the shade range. Like that's, that's my only complaint with this. If they had way more shades, I think there's six, when there's six shades, if they made some like in-between shades, I think that would be so much better. But right now I will be mixing them and I still love it this is actually what I'm wearing right now and it looks awesome this product I finally got my hands on after going to multiple Ulta stores looking for it and it was always sold out for obvious reasons it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I have it in the shade light fair would have been way too fair fair is pretty fair so if you do have light skin I would definitely recommend you go swatching that um, but I have the shade light this is incredible. Number one, it's gigantic. Like, you get so much product in this, and it's cheaper than, say, the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Concealer. You, I'm pretty sure you get almost double in this, as opposed to that. It is very full coverage. I, like I said, I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream on right now, and I have this, and it almost completely covers, like, my under eye circles. I have very dark eyes now, because I have a baby. So I have very dark, like, just around my entire eye and my under eye circles and this covers it almost 100% it is awesome the only thing it's not even a complaint because I always set my entire face pretty much this does crease on me I have heard people say that it doesn't crease on them that's not the case with me if I did not set it it would definitely crease but I do feel like I have a lot of like under eye folds for concealer to get into every concealer creases on me it's that's just the nature of my eyes. But if you find that a lot of concealers don't crease on you, I don't think this would. And if you set it, then I 
pretty sure you're also gonna be good to go. So if you can find this, because it's sold out everywhere, but if you can find it and you're really looking for a full coverage concealer, I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this because it is, it is amazing. All right, moving on to highlighters. I do have a few, four, and two came in a duo. So the first ones are from Becca. There's this little set, which is so cute, and they're both in opal. So this is the pressed version of opal, and then this is the liquid version of opal, which just comes with like a little flat doe foot applicator. I haven't used this one yet. I have swatched it on my hands, and it's it's gorgeous. Not quite as intense as the pressed versions, which sometimes is good because the pressed versions are very intense. This one is awesome. I wanted to get the full size version, but I wasn't really ready to shell out, you know, like $40 for, for one, and I'm sure this little one will last me so long. I also have Pearl. Um, if you don't know Pearl, it's like very, actually, let me find it. This is like the full size version, and this is white, like white, white, like white and frosty, which sometimes I like, and especially in the winter, I'm pretty pale, and this definitely works for me. But this is just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like golden and a little bit peachy and it's just, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And I was using it like a ton right when I got it. Uh, the little duo, I feel like it's really good for the price. You get this little duo for 20 bucks and I feel like it'll take me a while to go through this anyway. So I'm really glad I bought this. The second highlighter I got is from Essence and it's their Pure Nude Highlighter. Now, uh, if you were thinking about getting this, I would just get it. You can see a little bit of like, of sheen. To swatch it though, it is completely different swatched as opposed to like applied on the cheeks. I do not think that a swatch does it justice. And it's like, I think it's only like $4.50. It's something ridiculously cheap. And I think it is wonderful. So if you were like thinking about getting it, I would definitely get it. Hi. You'll see what I'm talking about. The last highlighting product I have is this. It's from NYX. And it's their Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. It basically just looks like this. It's like a little stick highlight. Um, I have the shade Chardonnay Shimmer. And what I do is basically I'll take like any stipple brush. I have the e.l.f. small stipple brush. I'll just like swirl it in and just pat it on the cheeks. And it, because it's a cream, I feel, it just looks like it's part of the skin. It doesn't look like a giant like stripe on top of your cheeks, which again, maybe you want, maybe not all the time. This just melts into your skin and it just gives you the most beautiful glow. And you can build it up so it can be very light and like barely there, or you can make it a little more intense. For the price, you get so much product. And it's just a beautiful, like champagne-y, goldy highlight color, and it's phenomenal, and I've definitely been loving this. All right, next we're gonna move on to cheeks, and I have one blush palette. It is from Makeup Revolution, and it is the Hot Spice Blush Palette. Now, in this palette, you are getting six, blushes and like two sort of like highlights. There is a giant mirror, which is also nice. Um, as you can see, there are six blushes and then over here on the end, these are two like kind of highlights. It comes with this little overlay that says which ones are matte and shimmer, um, but even the ones that are shimmer, you can like barely see any particles. I don't really think they transfer that much onto your cheeks, but this palette is $10. It is crazy pigmented. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks. I have two of the colors mixed together. There is another one, another blush palette that is called Sugar and Spice. The blushes in there are a little bit cooler toned, whereas the blushes in this one are a little bit warmer toned. But you can't beat the price for 10 bucks and you're getting all these blushes and they're so pigmented and this is this is amazing and so easy to like take with you, especially if you want a lot of different color options. So moving on to eyes, I got four eyeshadows from Anastasia Beverly Hills and they are right here and they are gorgeous. On Ulta's website, if you get four eyeshadows, they are discounted at $10 a piece. Usually they're $12. And if you get four, then you also get this little case. So I was like, all right. So the shades I got are uh, Pink Champagne, which has been in some of the palettes that have come out. Um, I think it was in the Self Made and the World Traveler palette. And I really wanted that color, but I didn't get those palettes. So right, I got it now. So Pink Champagne, and Macaroon, which is a titanium finish. These are both titanium finishes, but it's a little bit more purple rather than the pink. And then I got Morocco, which is this beautiful like burnt orangey color. That was in the World Traveler palette and that I really wanted, but again, I didn't get it, so here it is. And then this dark one is called Beauty Mark and it's, you can kind of tell it's like a dark eggplant. It's, yes, that dark purple color is, awesome and these two colors will be great to use during fall honestly i'd wear anything during the fall it doesn't really matter but i can't wait to use these two colors they're so pigmented and they're so creamy and they're just 
they're awesome. And then I got another eyeshadow palette and I got the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I do have the Lorac Pro one and I seriously use it all the time. I love that palette. I think it is definitely my favorite palette that I have. But this one is gorgeous. I especially love this navy color. It is like, I feel like that's so unique for it to be in here. Like everything else is sort of like, oh, okay. And then there's just like this pop of navy, which is awesome. And here, let me swatch a couple for you, just to see. Um, a couple of the ones where I was like, yes, this color. So this is gonna be a couple of them. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like these totally swatched. Uh, they didn't swatch weird, but my hand kind of skipped. So we have like cool gray, uh, chrome, that plum color, and then that navy, which totally got everywhere. But this chrome color, this like taupey purple, but with like some shimmer is like, it's gorgeous. All the colors in here are gorgeous. I think it was between this and I think it was between this one and the unzip palette. And I was like going back and forth, but this one just sold me that those colors are just, and I can't wait to use it more. I used it a couple times and it's been great so far. So I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. All right. So the last thing I have to talk about are these Maybelline Loaded Bold lipsticks. Yes, please. I love Maybelline lipsticks. They're fantastic. I think they're my favorite drugstore lipsticks and there's just so many colors and I, I, I really like them. So I got five of the colors that they had. The one that I'm wearing right now is called Dynamite Red and I just think it's a great red. It's not too orange and it's also not too dark. It's like a very like mid-toned red color but it's still bright without being too orangey because I don't really like really orangey lipsticks so I love this color. The second one I got was Fiery Fuchsia which is just like this gorgeous pink color. It is just, it's a little cooler, a little bit blue toned but again, fantastic. These are so comfortable to wear on the lips. Like I've worn three, four, four of them. I think I've worn four of them so far. And they've honestly lasted like all day. I've like had stuff to drink and I've eaten and yeah, like around the middle, like around the inside, it would like wear away a little bit. But honestly, there was so much color left at the end of the day. I was very surprised. The next color I have is Gone Grayish, which I feel like is like such a unique color. It's a little bit purpley but again like very gray but a mid-tone gray it's not very dark and it's so unique especially for doing like the other day i had like a very cool toned eye going on and this looked amazing with it the next one is called raging raisin this is a deeper color i can't wait for like fall to come around it's a little bit reddish purple i want to say reddish purple maybe a little hint of a brownie undertone uh again just gorgeous Definitely going to be awesome for the fall, but again, I would wear this at any moment. And the last one I have is called Chocoholic, and this is just a straight up brown, like a chocolatey brown. This is the only one I haven't worn yet, but I'm so excited to wear this. I would say if you like the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, you will definitely love these. They're very similar in formula, very creamy, a little less matte. So maybe if those ones, if you have dry lips and those ones were pretty drying, for you, you should definitely go try these. I really think you'll like them. They're so long wearing and obviously they're a drugstore price, which I love because I'm buying all of these things myself. So if you were interested in trying them, I say you should definitely run out and pick one up. They have a bunch of colors. Some of them are very like normal, like some of them are very typical colors. Like there's a mauve color, which is gorgeous. And then they have like blue. So maybe you're into blue lips then they have that for you. But I would say definitely try those. If you are a fan of Maybelline lipsticks, you will not be disappointed. So that is everything that I had to talk about in my Ulta haul. Some high-end, some drugstore, which is always great. I love awesome drugstore beauty products. So I really hope you like this video. I'm excited to finally be getting my channel started because I've been thinking about it for a while. And now that we're semi-settled in our new place. So yeah, I hope you liked this and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.